Well, Munangagwa, as we said, speaking for the first time following his election in Zimbabwe, calling for unity, calling for peace. Munangagwe beat a rival, Chamisa, uh, from the MDC in those results announced last night. He gained more than 50%, meaning there will be no runoff. The MDC leader since, of course, claiming that these results were rigged and vowing to challenge the outcome. This afternoon's media conference by Chamisa was not without that drama for journalists. So as we showed you earlier, police chased the journalists away from the hotel. They were later allowed to return to that media conference. Joining us now on the line from Harare is Sunday Times journalist Ray Ndlovu. Uh, Ray, so this seemed uh, heavy-handed from police. On the other hand, they've since apologized. Uh, what do we focus on? Well, what we saw in the afternoon was a heavy-handed approach by the police because they thought that uh, the meeting was not sanctioned uh, and it was, in fact, a political rally. And only after the intervention of the Minister of Information did the police uh, then allow the meeting to go ahead. The Minister of Information, Simon Carmel, actually came uh, to say, allow this journalist to have uh, this press conference, and then it proceeded. What was it like? Were you there when police were using those those shields, I think, uh, from what I heard, to push the journalists? Well, it was a very intimidating uh, scenario because, uh, you know, the hotel itself has got one uh, entrance. And, you know, when you're seeing uh, all these uh, riot police uh, carrying their shields and button sticks and uh, the events that we saw uh, two days ago, uh, it's still fresh in the minds of many journalists, you know, so there was really a scurry to try and uh, leave and a lot of pushing and shoving. And uh, you do know, Francis, this country does have uh, a history in terms of violence as well against the media practitioners. So definitely there was quite a bit of, uh, you know, a blood curling moment at that time. Mm. What, what does it leave you uh, with, uh, how does it leave you feeling about the police in Zimbabwe? A, a lot of people saying, you know, can there be a new era, a new sort of democratic instinct uh, if, if there's this knee-jerk reaction from police? I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it, was an, it, it appears to be a knee-jerk reaction in the regard that uh, tensions are still high, obviously, with the, the opposition refusing to accept those results uh, uh, that were uh, delivered in the early hours of this morning. So there is a sense of, uh, you know, everyone being on tender hook and the police uh, moving in quite swiftly in that respect. But again, it was not called for. And, um, you know, a uh, press conference held a few minutes ago uh, saw uh, officials in the Ministry of Information apologize uh, for that episode in the afternoon of uh, so journalists really being harassed by the police. And so uh, we saw the government uh, making apologies to say this is not what we're all about. In fact, we allow media freedom and allow uh, freedom of speech and uh, association. And, and beyond this incident, uh, as the press conference progressed, I believe that police left. Do you feel that freedom for journalists? Sorry, come again, again, Francis. I'm saying generally, do you feel free as a journalist to cover uh, what you need to cover in Zimbabwe? Well, yes, uh, we, we, we have uh, enjoyed a modicum of freedom uh, to a certain extent the last couple of months. But again, I think uh, the incidents that you've seen, especially this week, have just raised even further the stakes, uh, you know, of operating as a media practitioner. But as long as... Uh, uh, you are registered and accredited by the relevant media uh, uh, agencies within the country. There is, you know, an allowance in terms of operating, and we haven't seen uh, in that respect any interference with our work. Mm. Do, do they often check your credentials? Just describe how journalists interact with law enforcement officials generally. Well, the, 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 the credentials that, that uh, I'm, I'm referring to is uh, with the Zimbabwe Media Commission where, as a journalist, you are, uh, you know, allowed to practice according to the law because this is a law in terms of, uh, you know, being uh, recognized as a journalist who works in the country, whether you're a local journalist or you are an international uh, journalist or, you know, you may be a journalist, a local journalist working for uh, an international publication. So it covers quite a wide array of uh, of different forms of, of accreditation requirements for, for media practitioners in the country. 
All right, thank you very much. Sunday Times journalist Ray Ndlovu uh, speaking to us from Zimbabwe. And of course, as he said, police have apologized for chasing journalists away from a press conference. Uh, they seem to think that it was a, some sort of political meeting allowing the journalists back. And apologies also from the entourage uh, with uh, the new president-elect Emerson Mnangagwa a short while ago.